Haha, <laughs> you come to sunny California and go for a hike in the Santa Lucia Mountains. There, you have a strange, unpleasant feeling, as if someone's watching you. You look around, but don't see a single soul. That's when you glance at the tops of distant mountains in front of you, and your heart skips a beat. Up on the peaks, you can see the outline of a giant humanoid figure, arms stretched out with a magnificent full rainbow circling it. This mysterious figure is dressed in all black. You can't make out any facial expressions or detail, but you can see it moving. Then it vanishes right before your eyes. Congrats! You've just witnessed the Dark Watchers, a phenomenon that's been terrifying hikers in the California mountains for over 300 years. Even now, scientists can't give an exact explanation for this mysterious appearance. What we do know is it's completely natural, uh, probably. One theory claims that there are no silhouettes at all. The human brain just thinks up images created by shadows the clouds cast on the mountains. Over the centuries, people share stories about this legend, and their minds begin to show it, building recognizable images. The same can happen to you, like when you see the contours of a human face on a burnt piece of toast, or the shape of a dog in a passing cloud. The most accepted scientific explanation is what's called a Brocken specter. It's when sunlight gets bent by drops of fog or clouds. That explains the rainbow surrounding these figures. As for the shadow, it's only your own being stretched and projected on the mountains before you. After all, these figures usually show up when the sun is behind the witness. Natural or not, the vanishing mysterious figure scared the wits out of you. So you head east and find yourself in the desert. The blazing sun beats down on your back. There's nothing for hundreds of miles around. Hard to believe this dry, lifeless plain was once the bottom of a lake. You notice a long trail in the sand, as if someone was pushing or pulling something really heavy across the ground. You follow the strange trail, and at the end you find a single large stone. But why would anyone drag a heavy rock across the middle of the desert? But nothing touched the stone. It moved by itself. It's a phenomenon called sailing stones. Every winter, ice covers the ground here. When a strong enough wind blows, the stone starts to glide across the slippery surface. Once the ice melts, all that's left is a winding trail behind a single lonesome rock. Well, for some relief from the scorching California sun, we head to Antarctica. Snow, ice, and more blinding sun. Yep, it's a desert too. The light is almost blinding. You squint, and off in the distance, you see something red sticking out from all the surrounding endless white. As you get closer, you realize it's a waterfall, an ominous red cascade flowing from the glacier. Splashes fly in all directions and stain the white snow. Don't worry, these so-called blood falls are nothing of the sort. Millions of years ago, I wasn't around then, a glacier formed over a pond and blocked access to sunlight, heat, and oxygen. Then the pond managed to break through the glacier with a little trickle of water. When such salty water with high levels of iron meets oxygen, it creates that scarlet rust color. This is the only waterfall of its kind in the world. Now, in the town of Taos, New Mexico, locals hear a strange hum every day. But not all of them. For some reason, only about 2% of the residents can hear the sound. Some theories proposed it's caused by the location's unusual acoustics. Others put it down to some strange auditory hallucination or even something more sinister. <laughs> Unexplainable sounds happen on other worlds as well. In 2020, the Mars rover recorded a strange hum coming from the red planet. It's a quiet, continuous drone that sometimes fluctuates because of Mars quakes. Back on Earth, we head to the warm rainforest of Southeast Asia. You see a tree that looks as if someone poured paint all over it. But the rainbow eucalyptus was painted by nature. Its unusual bark changes colors over time like a kaleidoscope. It starts off as a bright green shade, then red, orange, purple, and finally brown. Then the colorful cycle starts again. One of the biggest mysteries of nature is ball lightning. It's a glowing blue, orange, or yellow sphere that appears during a thunderstorm. Many witnesses say they hear a hissing sound and detect a strong odor with it. 
The first mention of ball lightning described it breaking through a window and disappearing. As with any mystery, scientists can't explain the exact cause. A popular theory is that ordinary lightning strikes the ground and causes a reaction between oxygen and vaporized soil elements. Ball lightning often occurs during earthquakes, when it usually takes the form of a blue flame coming out of the ground. The ball lightning phenomenon happens all over the world, but so far, no one's been able to snap a picture of it. There's an extremely unusual volcano in Java. If you go there at night, you'll see an electric blue flame burning from the ground, along with oozing bright blue lava. It's incredibly hot, but that's not actually lava. All this unusual blue is sulfur gas escaping from crevices in the volcano and catching on fire. It also condenses into a liquid form and looks like blue lava flowing down. As soon as you come to the Nambib Desert, you immediately notice something very strange. Sprinkled among the dry grasslands are almost perfect circles of dirt where nothing grows. These massive polka dots are called fairy circles, and, you guessed it, nobody really knows what causes them. The likely culprit is termites eating the grass around their underground colony. Well, that could explain the circle's differing sizes. The bugs continue to eat as the colony expands outwards, but they stop before they encroach on a neighboring colony. The patches where you do see grass show a sort of boundary separating different termite populations. Or so goes the theory. Heading down under to Australia's Lake Hillier. Your eyes don't deceive you. Yes, that lake is bubblegum pink and is perfectly safe to swim in. The giant pink puddle is a salt lake, and it's not the only one of its kind in the world. Salt lakes are pink because of a kind of algae and other microorganisms living in them. They produce a red pigment to protect themselves from the sun. What's unique about Lake Hillier, though, is the water is still pink even if you scoop it up into a glass, and it remains bright pink all year round. The same can't be said about other pink lakes. Japan is home to one of the most famous active volcanoes in the world. It's special because it creates an incredible natural phenomenon, a dirty thunderstorm. The volcano regularly spews out a black cloud of smoke, ash, and lightning. During an ordinary storm, ice crystals collide with each other and cause discharge, creating lightning. In a dirty thunderstorm, particles of volcanic ash collide instead of ice. A peaceful night on the beach, the waves wash up on the shore and glow neon blue. But it's not the water that's glowing, it's the creatures living in it. This phenomenon is called bioluminescence. Plankton and algae release this glow when waves disturb them. Some fish, squid, and crustaceans can emit neon light as well to lure prey. No time to walk along the shore enjoying the natural light show. Hurry, we're heading out to open sea. There's no storm or wind at all. Which is why it's so surprising when you see a massive wave five stories high suddenly sweep across the calm waters. It nearly overturns your boat. But just as soon as it arrives, it vanishes in an instant. What was that? This unpredictable and still unexplained danger is called a rogue wave. One theory of how they form is from the sea's surface encountering a strong headwind. But remember, you didn't feel any wind blowing. Theory number two, and the most accepted one, different waves combine to form one large one. It's something called kinetic vampirism. Under certain natural conditions, waves accumulate and exchange kinetic energy. Among all the waves, there will be one that absorbs the energy from the others like a vampire. When a lot of energy is accumulated, it releases itself in the form of a giant wave. You're in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile, one of the driest places on Earth. But this desert has a beautiful secret. Every three to five years, flowers pop up out of nowhere. It's so famous, it's also called the flowering desert. Seeds lie around in the ground just waiting for some rain. When the desert gets enough water, about 200 types of flowers sprout up. The yellow sands of the Atacama turn purple, white, green, and even pink. Another mystical phenomenon that can be seen in the desert is called a sand waterfall. When the wind brings a lot of sand to the edge of the canyon, it begins to fall down. 
Now amplify this effect 100 times and you get a sand waterfall in Saudi Arabia. It really is like Niagara Falls, only there's not a drop of water. The locals say this phenomenon warns of an impending sandstorm. Fairy rings, also known as elf rings or pixie rings, are mysterious circles of mushrooms that appear in grasslands and forested areas. There's a lot of debate about why these fairy rings form a nearly perfect circle. Some superstitions claim that fairy dances would burn the ground, causing mushrooms to rapidly grow. In southern India, between July and September 2001, people witnessed one of the strangest weather phenomena in recorded history. The rain was red. What many would have thought to be a typical rainstorm left them shot. The color was bright enough to stain clothes. There were other colors too, such as green, yellow, brown, and even black. In the middle of a monsoon, red rain started to fall, and so did periodically for several weeks. Researchers have found this unusual rain is stained either by dust or algae, so don't try to catch any on your tongue. Scientists aren't entirely sure how the algae got all the way up there. This does make events like this a little unsettling. Now, people who live in rural central Norway over the Hestalen Valley can often witness floating lights of white, yellow, and red cross the sky. The lights appear both at day and night, and once back in the 80s, <clears throat> the 1980s, they were spotted 15 to 20 times in a single week. The Hestalen lights can last just a few seconds, but sometimes they can last more than an hour. The lights move, seeming to float or even sway around. Some scientists believe that the reason for these lights is due to ionized iron dust. Others say it's a combination that includes sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Many people claim they're just misidentified aircrafts. Norway! Snow donuts are one of the rarest meteorological sites to see, with perfect weather conditions needed just to create them. Found in any snow-covered mountain area, like the Rocky Mountains, the wind, temperature, snow, ice, and moisture all have to work together for us to see these phenomenal rings. A thin layer of wet snow on the ground. Under that layer, ice or powdered snow. Then, a strong enough breeze to roll the donut down a hill, just like a snowball. Once it stops rolling, it can be the size of a baseball or as large as a car tire. It all depends on how strong the wind is. A newly formed snow donut won't stay around for very long, so hurry up with that camera and watch your head. Can you believe there's another place on Earth with its own ecosystem and atmosphere, similar to another planet? Well, start believing. Movil Cave, located in southeastern Romania, remained closed in complete darkness for a whopping 5.5 million years. It wasn't until workers discovered the cave, when they were looking for a place to build, that anyone learned about it. Scientists carved out an opening to the cave and found that a completely sustained ecosystem was thriving inside. As a pathway was carved through the rock past numerous tunnels, scientists found a lake of sulfuric water that stank like rotten eggs. The air was filled with hydrogen sulfide and had 100 times more carbon dioxide than Earth's atmosphere contains. Needless to say, this air is completely toxic. What's even crazier is that a whole ecosystem has been existing in this cave, with 33 species that can't be found anywhere else on Earth. This cave gives us a glimpse of what could possibly exist on other planets with completely different atmospheres. How it managed to exist on Earth all this time without anyone knowing is rather unbelievable, isn't it? Now, check these trees out. They're called Indian rubber trees. Their strong roots grow not underground, but on the surface. With the help of special frames and fasteners, people have learned to control how these roots grow. Let's say a tree is next to a small pit. You need to make a bridge from one end of this pit to the other. You direct the growing tree roots in the needed direction. Over time, the roots penetrate the ground and strengthen under endless downpours. It takes about 15 years to create one bridge. Here's another amazing tree called the Tree of Life. It grows in Bahrain's desert. The tree has been standing on top of this sandy hill for more than 400 years, surrounded by miles of sand. It's extremely hot here, and there's no moisture. But despite this, the tree has green leaves, and it continues to grow. So far, scientists haven't figured out yet how the tree gets moisture and nutrients. 
there are only places with oil deposits around. Locals think the tree is sacred. After all, it demonstrates the magic of life and the power of nature. Some experts are sure it's all about the roots. They go so deep that they can reach underground sources of water. So, there you are. You've been driving for hours through the night. You didn't have any chance to sleep, so your mind is hanging by a thread. You stop the car and go out to stretch your limbs. And then you look up into the sky and see a beautiful sunrise. Whoa, wait. There are three suns in the sky. You rub your eyes, but nope, there's still three bright stars in the sky. Now, our home star hasn't been torn into three pieces, nor has it been visited by two other stars. This is called a sun dog. It occurs mostly during severe frosts. Small ice crystals in the sky bend the light. As a result, you may see three bright spots in the sky instead of just one. This phenomenon is officially called a halo. Usually, it's just a circle around the sun. You can even see a halo at night, too. Just look at a street lamp, and you'll see a bright circle around it. Sometimes, a halo can take on a fancier shape. If there's a lot of ice in the air, the light is warped even more. Just like in a room with a dozen mirrors, then the halo can take on the shape of a human eye. Because of this phenomenon, a false dawn can also occur. While you're looking at the horizon, the dawn begins, and the edge of the sun appears. A little bit more, and wait, the sun starts to just dissolve in the sky. After a few moments, it's dark again. And only a minute later, the real sun shows its face. It was the same light curvature effect you saw before with the three suns. Only now, the light is curved vertically, not horizontally. And instead of the real sun, its reflection in ice crystals in the sky appeared. But the sunrise with three stars on the horizon is actually real. Not on Earth, though, but 340 light years away. There's a star system at the center of which lurks a star almost twice the size of the sun. And there are two smaller stars orbiting around this giant. This strange world has a planet, too. Sunsets and dawns there really happen with three stars. If you brought your significant other to a park bench to watch a sunset here, your date would go just fine. Whatever that means. And since we're talking about the most baffling natural phenomena, it would be a crime not to mention snow in a desert. Yep, in the winter of 2018, the inhabitants of the Sahara Desert, one of the driest and hottest places on this planet, woke up to discover a thick blanket of snow covering the sand. In some places, the layer of snow enveloping the dunes reached a staggering 15 inches. Meteorologists, however, had an explanation for this exciting phenomenon. They stated that cold pools of air, combined with the precipitation from the most recent storm, resulted in a snowfall instead of rain. So what do you do in that case? Build snow camels? Hmm, one hump or two.